guys, it's Ellie here from Balance Me Back. So I'm going to show you how to release your posterior chains through the back of the optical um, bone and all the way through to the back of the hips. Um, this is really, really good to relieve hip pain and neck discomfort and shoulder. So, uh, it's happening. so what you need to do is you need to lie down, make sure your shoulders are down, you're going to bring your right foot onto your left knee and flex your foot right back and open the hip as wide as you can. Then you're going to slowly bring that foot down to the floor. Now I'm going to get my left glute back slightly and make sure that my, my sacrum is a little bit flatter. Okay. Then I'm going to push my foot into the floor make, and create my own force. And again with that, I'm going to bring my palms in line with my shoulders. That. I'm going to make sure my neck is really long. I'm going to close my eyes, I'm going to turn my head. Press, and then I'm going to bring it back, let my spine sit in neutral for a little bit, and then repeat on the other side. So this foot is going to be flexed, it's going to come across, and again I'm going to get my right glute out slightly, so I'm a bit flatter, make sure my shoulders are down, sitting in the back of their pocket, and I'm gently going to move my head on the side. And I'm really going to pay attention to my side that I'm tighter, so my, my right side of my neck is tighter, so my SCM all the way through the back into my shoulder blade is really tight, and I can feel that running down my arm. And I'm going to release 20 times, and I'm going to go back to neutral, okay? Then this time, I'm going to flex the foot, and I'm going to bring it down into my IT band. My knee is going to go down to the floor this time, stretching out my IT, and I'm going to push my foot onto my knee like that, and create that resistance. And I'm going to release my head to side to side 20 times. Okay, then I'm going to let my spine sit neutral. Now this time again, it's going the opposite way. So now my knee is going to go to the floor. So my knee is to the floor, and I'm pushing down that resistance with my foot. And then I'm moving my posterior chains from side to side to release all that tension. So I'm creating length, and I'm creating space in the posterior chains of the body. Sit back to neutral. 